All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kodash, double honest to the apostles and elders, great millstone. Honest to you, brothers, that are pushing out this truth all over the world. This is 2021, a year of hastening. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to start with this scripture right here, Second Ezra 9 and 1, because there's a lot of things going on right now. There's a lot of protests going on around the world. You know, what's going on with Syria? There's earthquakes. All right. There's so many things happening, man, and it all ties into prophecy. And the Heavenly Father told us to stay upon our watch. Going back to Habakkuk, the second chapter, that watchtower, we're on that watchtower. Because the vision is yet for a appointed time. We're in that appointed time. Okay? So we are here, man. So I'm going to read, I'm going to read this, this, uh, second Ezra, all right, the ninth chapter. And then we're going to switch to, uh, RT. And we're going to go, we're going to look at some news clips, man, of the protesting that's going on. Just different world events. All right? And how it ties into the scriptures all right so let's go ahead and get into it so he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou see is part of the signs past and how are we seeing it we're seeing it on the news all right different alternative news stations man that brothers are subscribed to all right we're watching them diligently man okay and we're filtering it through the scriptures all right so measure the time diligently in itself and when thou see is part of the signs past which I have told thee before. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And who is the highest? That's Yahweh. Okay. All right. And how is he visiting this world, man? You know, by all these different events. You know, there's a lot of a lot of UFO sightings, man, which are the chariots. Okay. A lot of different signs, you know, with the moon, you know, just all types of stuff, man. You know up there in the heavens all right the lord is showing these signs because we are at the end all right second Ezra was nine and three therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars uproars of the people in the world and and you have that so let's go ahead and go to it and then i'll come back i'll come back to second ezra's all right okay so i got rt pulled up okay now look at all these protesting protesting going on so let's go ahead and start with this one all right um all right so so paris right they're uh protesting the COVID 19 measures let's go ahead and click on this i'm not going to play the full clips but i'm going to read the description underneath them all right so protests decry COVID 19 measures in paris france the, de the demonstration was organized by the angry paris group under francis under France, COVID restrictions, bars, restaurants, museums, sports, and music venues are closed as the country seeks to curb the spread of coronavirus, man. So those people are catching hell. So they're so they're protesting against it because they're real, they're, their lockdowns are real strict out there, man. All right. So let's keep going. Okay, I'm not gonna go to this one. This woman's right. Uh check this out. Restart anti-demonstration held in in thailand so let's go ahead and click on most this most people think the key to losing weight only has to deal with two factors diet and exercise but if you yeah, lucky for the commercials man i just made this channel i haven't uh um updated my my subscription yet where where it's ad free but i'm gonna do that real soon so so lucky for the commercial but let's go ahead and play it See what I'm showing, man. This is this all ties into scripture. This is, you know, these are the events that's going on right now, man. All these these are the uproars of the people. All right, whether it be anti-government, anti-lockdown. All right, this is the uproar. This is the protesting that's going on. So check this out. This is the description. So student-led protests are taking place on the streets of Tao Capital. Demonstrators demand the government steps down and also that it abolishes Section 112 of the Criminal Code, which prohibits insulting the insulting or defaming the king all right that was two hours ago okay and going back up to this that was 44 minutes ago all right you see the 144 you know real spiritual okay let's keep going okay so check this out thousands rally against covid lockdown in in vinnie australia all right and that's nine hours ago let's go to this 
I was already looking at it. I'm gonna start it over. You know, a peaceful protest, but you know, that, that could very much turn upside down real quick. All right. All Esau has to do, which he's done before, man, and put, you know, uh, put these uh, these crisis actors in there, man, to stir up shit. All right. OK, so whether it's a peaceful protest, you know, or a violent protest, man, these are uproars of the people. All right. And that was 10 hours ago. All right. So the description. So thousands took to the streets of Vini, Australia. Austria to protest against COVID restrictions with some holding banners that read Kurs must go. You see, that's other people, man. They, you know, they're, they're not feeling this whole lockdown. All right, let's keep going. Check this out right here. This is Paraganya protest clash with police over health care crisis. Let's go ahead and click on that. This is 23 hours ago. Yeah, them people are going ape shit, man. All right, so you'll be a fool to think that we are not in the end times. All right, this is what's going on, man. All right, the Heavenly Father is about to make his return, man. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the description. So, Paragonia, if I'm saying that correctly, police cracked down on demonstrators in Os Yukon amid protests over collapse of public hospitals for a record increase in coronavirus case, man. Again, you know, the whole C19. All right, these people are not with it. All right, the Lord is giving Esau a hard time, man, trying to trying to push his agenda. All right, which he's going to get it fulfilled because it's scriptural. This, the Lord said when he's about to fill his belly, belly, you know that's in Job. The Lord shall cast a fury upon him. All right. Let's see. I know there's some more protests in here. Okay. Yeah. So you got the Paris uh, again. You know the. Uh, I'm not going to play it. I'm gonna just read the description. Paris protests against COVID-19 measures. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, what else? Um, Santiago clashes. Chilean police launch water canyons at anti-government protests. That was a day ago. Let's let's go ahead and click on that. Santiago. That's what you're seeing. So you're seeing the end of Esau's world, man. You know, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob's the beginning of that follow up, man. That's what you're seeing. You're seeing this society. You're seeing this whole world, man. All right. In uproar. OK. Because the heavenly fall is about to make his return. OK. So you see that's going on in uh, Santiago. Then you got well, this is the same one right here uh, underneath it. OK, let me go to the description. So pro so police deploy water canyons at protesters rallying against the government of President Seb Sebastian Pinera and Santiago demonstrators are demanding the release of detained protesters as well as economic reform and the resignation of Pinera. You see that, man? So, all right. You know, this is literally all over the world, man. Okay. Let me see. I know there's more. Hey, ch check this one out right here. The Orthodox Jews versus lockdown. Let me, let me go ahead and click on this. Did you know that the average adult has five to 20 pounds of toxic poop in their body at any given moment? It seems crazy, right? They mistrust again, the government. Again, slocking for the commercials, man. All right, let me start it from the top. Look at this damn devil right here, man. These are supposed to be the, the Lord's chosen people right here, man. 
You gotta be out of your damn mind, man. Nazi! While many around the world have been anti-lockdown, it's members of the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community that have been the most vocal. In Israel, clashes between the police and the community are an almost weekly occurrence. So what do they dislike about the coronavirus restrictions? This is called a police takeover. It's a war against God, and that's the story. Only certain parts of the community have been anti-lockdown, but they still make up a large number of the ultra-Orthodox in Israel. This honestly comes out of a mistrust um, of the government on, on a lot of issues. Um, they mistrust the government. They believe the government is quite literally out to get them. Um, some sort of uh, conspiracy to, to pry them away from their religious lifestyle. Uh, and maintaining that religious lifestyle, they see it as their raison d'etre. Many have just been going about their lives as if there's no pandemic, holding big weddings and even large funerals for their beloved rabbis who have died of the virus. But as those big events... That's all I'm a play of them gutter rats, man. You know, the synagogue of Satan, man. All right? They are not the real Jews. Like the scriptures say, man, but um, continuing on, all right. So that's basically it for the protest. Let me let me go to, okay, because the scriptures say when you shall see earthquakes, all right. And there was a uh, right here. This is recently, man, an eight point one earthquake among three powerful trim trimmers tremblers to strike off New Zealand small small tsunami wave scene. All right, so check this out. Let me get rid of this ad. All right. So one of the strongest earthquakes to hit the South Pacific in modern history triggered tsunami warnings across the ocean and forced thousands of people in New Zealand to evacuate coastal areas Friday. See that small tsunami waves were seen, but little damage. All right. That's all I'm going to get on that. So let's go ahead and go back to the scriptures. All right. Again, second Ezra was nine and three. Therefore, when that therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, man. You see that? The Lord said he did he 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 declared the end from the beginning. All right. Second Ezra was nine and five. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end. And the end is manifest, man. So we are here. We are at the end. You know, um, you know what's going on. You know, going back to Matthew's. I'm not going to get it. Matthew's 24 and 6. You know, the wars and rumors of war. What's going on right now in Syria? All right. You know, what are they doing out there, man? You know, they, they keep poking at Russia. All right. Russia said they're going to retaliate. You know, Iran is all in the mix. You know, so there's a lot of things that are going on right now, man. You know, you know, they they uh you know, Joe Biden, he um, approved the airstrikes, okay, on those militants out there, man. So there's a lot of things going on right now, man. So, you know, like the scriptures say, you know, Revelations 11 and 14, the second woe is past and the third woe cometh quickly, man. All right. So I just wanted to, you know, bring out, bring that out, you know, just filtering it through the scriptures, you know, you know, we're here, we're at the end of this wicked ass society, man. All right. So with that, I want to say all praise to you. How about you? I was shy. Double honest with apostles and elders, great millstone. Again, honest to you, brothers. You all came out there pushing out this truth. To the next video, I want to say shalom.